you know, it really is amazing to see you all back together now. You were together, obviously, for so long, but you're also apart for so long. What are, what are the things you miss most about each other and, and performing, of course? We actually see each other a lot because we, we're all in different bands and we see each other in shows and we see each other in everywhere in back home in Manila. So, And the scene is so small back home. Uh, we kind of run into each other uh, at the next show and it's, it's like we we never uh, we never really were apart. Now we've been talking a lot about fans of course but I'm wondering what are some of the craziest things that fans have done for you? Just right now uh, somebody came up to us with a guitar and she traveled all the way from the state wow. to Dubai to see the show tomorrow so that's pretty crazy. Now, as I mentioned, our fans went a little nuts when they found out we were meeting you guys. So we told them that they could send through their questions. So I do have a fan question I can start out with from Teja Varma. Do you guys think the Filipino music industry is truly going global with the frequent tours to Dubai by Filipino bands such as Sponge Cola and now the Eraserheads? Um, I think uh, Filipino talent has been going global for quite some time. Like. Uh, well, let's talk about the 70s first. Like, uh, there was uh, Freddie Aguilar, whose uh, song Anak uh, became like the biggest uh, single in Asia at that time. And then there's Leia Salonga, who, yeah, of course, uh, made it big in, on, broad, uh, uh, on the West End uh, and Broadway. Uh, wh what I'm saying is that um, I think every generation has its own, like, uh, uh, standard bearer for, for Filipino talent and I don't think there will ever be a time when uh, Filipino talent will not be noticed by, you know, by the world. Okay, now this one's from one of our viewers called Daisy and she's asking you, any new songs or a album for the comeback reunion? I can't wait to watch the E-Heads, I love you. <laughs> right now we do not have new songs. We haven't exactly written new material uh but who knows you know uh, uh 10 years ago we said we wouldn't ever get together again and i suppose it's not really good to say that we're not going to record again but right now we really do not have any plans because uh, probably because it's uh yeah we we didn't have time to sit down yet and talk about it so we're just concentrating right now on uh, on the live shows well, we have Jenny Sai Flores. What can Eraser heads, what can Eraser fans expect from this reunion concert? Face melting rock. <laughs> that sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> or pop. <laughs> or pop. Or jazz. Uh, punk rock. Now, lastly, <laughs> from Fabian Martin, what is the secret to your success? Good time management. I actually really like your answers. Huh? Uh, well, we love what we do, and uh, we try not to take it too seriously. I mean, uh, we, we try to have fun most of the time. Coming up, we rock 